Now we request the Pongalur and Palnisami sir, founder and chairman, to honor Brigadier Satish Kumar Sangwan, Commandant MRC Wellington, with the bouquet and the memento. We would like to request the Pongalu and Palnisami sir, a chairman, to honor the guest of the day, Mr. Balaji Govindrajan, HR Talent Acquisition, Bhavan Cybertech, Chennai, with the bouquet and the memento. We request our chairman Pindamal Pari, sir, to give away the memento. Thank you, dignitaries. It's a great honor for us to introduce the chief guest. Brigadier Satish Kumar Sangwan, VSN Commandant, MRC Wellington, has an extensive experience serving the Indian Army. He had held various appointments, including the honor of commanding the Assam Rifles Battalion and was conferred the Wish Saver Medal, VSN, by the President for his distinguished service of an exceptional order to all ranks of the Indian Armed Forces. He is an effective leader with renowned abilities in relating to people across all hierarchical levels in the all organization, recruiting and training. He is a dynamic leader and a patriotic veteran with a passion to serve nation. It is nobler to serve than to be served. With this quote, we welcome Brigadier Satish Kumar Sangwan, Commandant MRC Wellington, to address the new entrance of KIT. Good morning to all uh, the students, parents, and the dignitaries on the dais. First of all, uh, respected sir, founder, and chairman, Mr. Palni Swami, the vice chairman, vice chairperson, Mrs. Indu, Mr. Balaji, and all the dignitaries who are on the stage. I am grateful to all of you to having felicitated me and given me this opportunity to stand in front of these young students and talk to them. Dear students, I was like one of you about uh, 35 years ago, I was sitting like you only and had a uh, number of options for choosing my career. I had different role models in front of me whom I used to admire and seeing them wanted to opt for a uh, career. There are numerous career choices which uh, you also have in front of you now. Having come to the engineering college, the first and foremost aim should be to complete your engineering degree with flying colors. And the careers which you choose after that will fall into line the way you want to go ahead. Having served in the army for almost three decades now, last 30 years, I have of the opinion that every career you choose has got a meaning. Each and every career and the, uh, the stream which you choose are all interlinked, maybe engineering, maybe doctor, defense forces or anything or maybe business. All of these are interlinked and no one can survive without the other. So whatever profession you choose, do the best. That is uh, the key 
crux you should have in your mind and if you do the best the things will automatically come your way if you work hard and start moving in your direction which you have now chosen as the engineering the sky should only be the limit completing degree is one part of it giving back to the nation is second part of it and which should be the endeavor of each one of you to go to the extreme limit of the sky to serve your country your society and your parents having been from armed forces the profession has been very very noble and it is for a cause all those of you who have any intention to go towards that profession there are number of routes which can be followed even after your degree in this college those uh, routes can be uh, explained to you told to you in the your coming years as you move ahead with the your engineering program i feel the, that god has been very kind to all of you that you all have joined come and join kit which is uh, one of the most popular and the excellent institute not only in southern india but in the entire india it comes amongst the best the engineering institutes so the in that way you should all be thankful to the god and the uh, the work hard work which you have put in to come to this institute having come here and once you have joined this institute i would like to highlight two three things for the young students which they must follow as a principle and try to strive hard to achieve them the first and foremost is your parents who have throughout their life struggled to get you good education and that is how you are in such a good institute the first and foremost your aim is to pay them back now the time has come when you have to do well place yourself well in society and pay them back whatever hardships they have gone through all those years to bring you at this institute second is your responsibility towards the society now that you have become responsible citizens and responsible students in the very great institute now you should plan and work toward the society improvement of the society improvement of the area around you improvement of your villages improvement of your colonies and improvement of the young students who are going in the schools in your own area that should be always in the back of your mind and work towards that in the future you have to slog very hard to achieve these two aims that is first is to re repay your parents and second to improve the society when i talk about the society there are number of things which you can do there are number of government schemes which you must support to for the betterment of society 
some of these which you hear in every day is the uh, swachh bharat which is the now one of the main schemes and i know uh, the main contributions can be from youth like you and the other schemes like girl child upbringing and education that is in our country is the foremost and very important aspect as of now uh, in the end i would say that work hard and whatever opportunity god gifted opportunity has come your way please make full use of it and repay back to the society finally i also want to thank the uh, chairman vice chairperson and also uh, the entire management for uh, giving opportunity of the students of the madras regiment who are uh, child of serving soldiers retired soldiers war widows and nurturing them in this institute to make them a very good citizen which is a step towards the direction which i think all the armed forces and even i will admire and always remain in debt to them with this uh, i once again thank uh, all the management committee on the dais and all the students and wish you a very best of luck and i am 100% sure that you all will move out from here with flying colors thank you thank you sir for your informative speech and for motivating the students to be socially responsible